proper maintenance is something that you just can't take for granted. You have to constantly maintain your garden for your annuals and your perennials and all of your flowers because you're feeding them so well, you're maintaining them so well, you're taking care of insect control and disease control, and you're taking care of, uh, of weeds. So now they're growing their very best. They're trying to please you, but you have to please them and you have to look out for them so that they don't be running all over each other and they don't get in each other's way. And for instance, when perennials have a very grow tall and have a high head on them, they have a tendency to flare up. Well, keep, with, keep in mind that you can get uh, metal stakes with rings on the top that you can carry with you, or you can take double coat hangers, the heavy duty ones, put two of them together, make the same ring, and then tape them in about three spots so that you can put them around um, the, the canes and stems of plants in order to maintain and hold them into the position that you want to so that they don't bump out. Also, if you have any tomato cages available, or you got peony rings, they're terrific for using around Veronica speed wells because these will start to open up. You can put them around those. Always carry nylon, pieces of nylon stocking. They've cut into to rings and you always keep them with you so that you can tie any plant together so that if it needs tying together, these are soft, strong, and flexible. Also plastic, plastic coated wire that's available just for plants and you can uh, cut off little pieces, you can wrap it around and twist it. It's only a temporary thing. It isn't something we want to use permanently. And also, always carry your pruners with you because when you see something that needs pruning, do it right then. Don't wait until you come back the next time and now you got other dead things. Also, on annuals, when they, uh, the impatience, if they get up and real leggy, cut them back early so after the flowers, cut them back so that you can maintain them, then they'll branch out. But the thing is, maintenance is very, very important. It's something that you have to do on a regular basis. Don't wait until something's wrong. Take care of it right while it's happening. If you do that, then your painting will continue to be the beautiful thing that you set out to do. Oh, yes. Remember, we were going to do a painting. We were going to use flowers. It is now a super portrait.